Practice Session Task 1. Set the random seed to the current time. 2. Generate and print a random password. 3. Set a variable. 4. Use a for loop to brute force the password. 5. Use an if statement. 6. Print the hacked password. 7. Use break and close. Pause the video and take your time to solve the task. Then come back to see my solution. Note. In the provided solution, the variable names are arbitrary as usual, meaning they were chosen for illustrative purposes and can be replaced with any other valid variable names. This flexibility allows you to customize your code to better suit your project's needs or personal coding style. Remember, when writing your own code, opt for variable names that are descriptive and meaningful to enhance code readability and maintainability. Math Random Seed can reinforce randomness by introducing more entropy into the pseudorandom number generation process. By using a changing seed, such as OS time, you ensure that each time you run your script, the sequence of pseudorandom numbers generated by Math Random will be different. However, it's important to note that the quality of randomness also depends on the underlying random number generator implementation in Lua and the platform it's running on. So while setting the seed can help, it doesn't guarantee perfect randomness. OS time is a Lua function that returns the current time in seconds since the epoch. The epoch refers to a specific point in time used as a reference for timekeeping in computing systems. In Unix and PISIC systems, the epoch is defined as January 1, 1970, 0 o'clock universal time coordinated. This moment serves as the origin from which timestamps are measured, with time increasing in seconds since the epoch. The OS time function in Lua returns the number of seconds elapsed since this epoch. It's a useful function for generating random seeds based on the current time, which can help increase the randomness of random number generation when combined with math random seed. Using math random, with a range between 999 and 99999 we will generate and store each time a random password in the variable dynamic underscore pass. This password will be then printed to the console. Next we will set the variable brute underscore force which is declared to store the hacked password if it is found. We will start with a simplified version of the loop for clarity. However, for functionality, we will transform the traditional loop structure. This transition allows for a clearer illustration of how the loop operates in the context of brute forcing. To simulate the process of searching for an integer password, we adjusted the range values of the loop. Instead of iterating from 1 to 10 as in the simplified loop, we extended the range to cover a much larger space, from 0 to 999,999,999. This adjustment allows us to simulate the brute force process more realistically, enabling the loop to iterate through a wide range of possible password values.
Next we will use inside the loop, an if statement to check if the current number matches the generated random password. By assigning hack to brute underscore force, we effectively capture the correct password once it's found during the brute force search. Now we will print the captured password and after that we will use break to exit the loop as there is no need to continue brute forcing. In wrapping up this tutorial, we've delved into the intriguing world of password brute forcing in Lua. Through the exploration of random password generation and iterative guessing, we've gained valuable insights into password security and ethical hacking practices. Remember to use these skills responsibly and always prioritize privacy and security.